Good morning and welcome to Johnson's Garden Time. Jeremy, many times late August is really, I think, the ideal time to get our cool season lawn started uh, in, in this fall season. You know, we can always look back later on in the fall and say, man, I wish I would have seeded this this time and and looking at the calendar this year i think now's now's the, the great time you know i think if you look ahead and the and the weather the forecast is kind of mild uh, better than what it was a month ago i'd go ahead and get it planted of course what we're looking now at overseeding or, or establishing a fescue lawn which is a cool season lawn these are our grasses that that typically do their growing during the, the cooler months so the, the spring months and then again at the the fall months and then during the kind of the, the windows they they kind of go to sleep or they, they aren't doing a lot of active growing. So now's a great time to get a cool season lawn established. Okay, and if you haven't done any weed control or if you have Bermuda grass, there's still time to get that controlled and then get, get your lawn seeded. You know, I started mine a couple weeks back, have, have sprayed with the, the high yield kills all, and, and I've got a lot of Bermuda that I'm, I'm converting over to, to fescue, but, but the high yield kills all is, a, is where we want to start. It's a, a Roundup type product, gonna kill anything we it, it touches, um, but, but this time of year, if, if you're going to be going back in with seed, I'd rather kill, kill more the seed is relatively inexpensive and, and, uh, going to get a, a good base to start that grass. And the thing about the glyphosate is that it does not sterilize the soil. It's, it can be seeded very soon afterwards. I always like to mix a couple things with it. We have the, uh, the spreader sticker, which really helps it, it coat the leaf surface. Almost like a glue to, to help that, that spray stick to the leaves. And then the, the new, uh, super marking dye, which is a, a blue dye it's going to let you see exactly where you've sprayed. So if you're doing a large area, sometimes it's difficult to see, hey, did I did I spray that or not spray it? If you've got a, a blue dye in it, this is going to tell you right where you've sprayed. Okay, let's look at some of the, the basics as far as the grass seed. You know, the, it kind of all starts with the label. That label is going to tell you which exact varieties are, are in the in the bag of seed, what other things that maybe we don't want in the in the seed are, are there. And, and the, the, the GardenWise Premium Fescue that, that we carry at the store is a, a very clean seed and have really what that label says is on the in it is, is going to be in it. Not going to have weeds. Not going to have other crops. And the garden wise, Jeremy, is five varieties of fescues that have been tested in our area, just about 15 miles from right here, and they've done very, very well in those tests and nationwide. You know, we, we've sold this this seed seed blend for for many years. The, the breeding has been incredible on on what we're we're getting, and, and lots of beautiful lawns uh, start with with this product. Okay, we've got everything you need. We've got the Furlong New Lawn Starter. We've got blends for for shady areas the fescue blends so come and see us we've got a lot of colorful annuals in the store now for for your planting this fall so thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time